So let's go ahead and check out what comes in the box on the Mobile Pixel Duex Max. And I think I'm saying that right, Duex. Uh, first and foremost, I am so stoked about this model because for me, I really love the idea of having, you know, the on-the-go battle station. Having two monitors to work off of while editing on the go is really crucial, especially if you have a nice thin and light laptop, like maybe the Asus Zephyrus G14 or the X13. It makes for a great travel on the go package. However, the screen's pretty small. So adding the extra screen real estate that's connected to your laptops, so you're not like flopping around on a, you know, a coffee table somewhere or like you know your monitor keeps falling over because the stand's kind of flimsy. This mounts straight to your computer. Turn over. Cool, tells you how to attach it right there. Got a setup guide for you or for me, should I say, hopefully for you if you wanna pick one of these up. And let's go ahead and pull this thing out of the box and see what comes in the box. So we have, looks like the mounting bracket, magnet location template. So it literally magnets right on to the back of screen. Okay, so basically you're mounting magnets to the back top of your laptop. So for some people, this might not be something you wanna permanently do to your laptop, okay? Just keep that in mind, just having a really clear, open, transparent conversation about this. You may not wanna permanently mount those onto your laptop, so that's kind of a decision you have to make because um, you know those will be stickied onto your laptop. But for me, this'll be great because I really want to have this permanently on one of my laptops. Now it does come with extra adhesives, so in case you wanna remove it from one laptop and move it to another, you have extra adhesives that you can add later on to the laptop to make sure that these can be pulled off and moved to a different laptop. So you're not stuck with one laptop, um, though this would be mounted to one laptop for a period of time, and then maybe you're gonna move it to another one at another period of time. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and set my magnets up. I've kind of predetermined where I want the monitor to sit on the laptop, and so I've got these off, I'm gonna stick them on. Looks like everything's lined up pretty good. So that one's gonna go there. Okay. There we go. Go there. I'll tell you what, the little template thing is definitely helpful. All right. So let's try that out. Now that we have it on, let's see how it mounts. Perfect, now I actually slide it so I can like put it in different positions so it kind of sits like right behind and then it just slides in. Let's see how it opens up. Oh, it's perfect. Right now, if I lean it back, my screen just kind of falls over. So let's see what happens. Pull it out and tilt it. So it doesn't, I think those might have been the kickstands. So my only thing at this moment is I have to kind of keep my screen at about uh, 65 or even 90. I'm not good at degree angles and stuff, but here, I'll just put it this way so you can see. So it's kind of like that, which is totally fine. I, I don't need it open up more than that. But because this is a pretty light laptop, as you can see, as soon as I start to lean it back, because I want it to kind of be in the middle. I would set it down a little lower, maybe, and then it would, this would kind of be the kickstand right here, this little rubber foot here. But I really don't want it lower. I want it to kind of match up with my screen. Okay, so I didn't really love how the screen was mounting onto the Lenovo Yoga 9i. I felt the screen was a little too short. It's a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And I also felt that the hinge was a little too loose. So whenever it would get back to here, the weight of the mobile pixel would just like pull the screen down. So I went ahead and switched over to the HP Envy X360. And the reason I'm doing this in the video is to just show you like, okay, what kind of laptop do you have? What kind of screen, you know, hinge flexibility do you have? Is it a pretty loose hinge or is it a pretty tight hinge? I think if you have a tighter hinge, this system is going to work better on your laptop. So now let's go ahead and mount it onto the back of the Envy. There we go, so this will slide over and this will pull out, all right, perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up the screen, pull this across and then turn the screen. 
and that's already reacting a lot better. Let's go ahead and get it plugged in really quickly. All right, so right off the bat, that's already responding better. Even if I lean my screen back, it doesn't just drop the screen from the weight. So I'm really liking that. It's a good comfortable angle that I'm looking at the screen. And man, this looks very nice. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lean it back so you can see what it looks like if you are using the screens together. Forgive the reflection off of my light above, but as you can see, it is definitely a 16 by nine aspect ratio. It might even be a little shorter than that. But what I like about it is that it fits behind the screen of your main laptop without impeding on coming over the top or the bottom. Even on the Yoga 9i, even though I didn't like how short the screen was, it still didn't come over all of the screen, which was really good, so I like that. But I would not recommend getting this on anything below a 14 inch screen if you're getting specifically the 14.1 inch model. If you have something smaller, like a 13 or a 12 inch laptop, I would go for the 12.5 inch model. That would be my recommendation. It's gonna fit better on a smaller device. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in here and see how it does. So it tucks right in behind your screen, and so you can look on the top as well. You don't even notice it's there. Now you can go ahead, remove it from your laptop. Now the magnets will stay on the top cover of your laptop, but you can easily take this off if you don't wanna take it with you, and it makes your laptop a little more on-the-go friendly, or even just to put in your backpack to maybe protect it a little bit more. Maybe you put the main laptop in the laptop sleeve, and then you put this in like the main compartment of the backpack just to divide up the laptop from the screen, however you maybe wanna travel. Now overall, let's talk about the build quality. I think the build quality is good. It's not great. Um, I definitely think that there could be some improvements made on the build quality. For instance, you can see like it can get sticky. If you don't pull it out exactly the right angle, it tends to stick. Um, but then once you get it to the right spot, it, it moves very nicely. So this hinge, I really do like, but I just don't know as far as the plastic, um, how long that rigidity will hold up. That's just a, an observation on the product. I think this product would be much improved if it was aluminum hinges and aluminum rails. Uh, it would just make for a better quality piece. But the functionality is really great. I think it's great functionality. It fits nicely on my computer. It's nice because I'm not having another screen just sitting on a table getting knocked over. Um, it's nice and rigid to my computer. Once you get this system set up for yourself and you can see the distance from the port to the port on the screen, you could definitely go ahead and get like a smaller, shorter cord, maybe get like a one foot cord here, and that would be nice to kind of consolidate this extra cord. But it is nice that they give you a long enough cord so even if you have to hook around to the other side of your laptop, the cord totally fits. And so that's really nice that it comes with a system with a cord long enough to be either on the left side or the right side. So you don't have to say, okay, well, the cord's too short to put it on the right side, Side, so I have to put the screen on the left side, but I prefer the screen on the right side. They've got you covered there. Punch for punch, this solves my on-the-go battle station woes, which is having an external screen that's always getting in the way on a desk or wherever I might be in a coffee shop. One thing that really frustrated me is I was always knocking over my secondary monitor because the stand was just kind of flimsy. This really eliminates that issue and creates a nice consolidated package. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of all the mobile pixels, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Likes of this video has brought you some value and subs to help us reach 100,000 subscribers by Christmas. I'll see you here in the next video.